from a sweet and beautiful girl, she became the vampire woman. There are really amazing things or people around our world, but definitely the woman of this video has broken all records of transformation and why not madness, being the most modified woman in the world for her tattoos and implants. Meet Maria Jose Cristerna, also known as the vampire woman. With 96% of her body tattooed and 45% of implants in her body, certified by her personal doctor, Maria Jose Cristerna has the Guinness record as the most changed woman of the world. This Mexican woman jumped into popular stardom after people started to call her the vampire woman because of the physical interventions she has throughout her body, which make her more closely resemble the cover of an Iron Maiden album than to an ordinary woman. But behind the shocking image projected, Christina is a lawyer, a deeply Catholic believer, has four children in a life that she describes as normal because she works hard, doesn't stay up late and gets up early to take her children to school. Maria Jose began her transformation at the age of 14 with the logo of a rock band tattoo. Then at the age of 18 she became more involved in the tattoo and painting world. She got married very young, but that relationship ended in abuse by her ex-husband. So she decided to break away and choose tattoos as a way of expression of freedom. For several years, because of her appearance, she was called the Vampire Woman. At first, she was annoyed because she doesn't like nicknames, claiming to be a prim and proper woman. However, this nickname opened doors all over the world and helped her as a platform to raise awareness of the domestic violence that exists in Mexico. Cristerna became an activist in the cause of domestic abuse. After After divorcing her former husband, the point at which she decided to lead talks about domestic abuse in the city of Guadalajara. This Mexican, who also became professional tattoo artist with her implants and tattoos, shows several piercings on her face, has titanium horns on her head and modified fangs. She says because since she was a child, she liked vampires, so she wanted to resemble one. Finally, the vampire woman says she will continue to devote devote her life to the fight against domestic abuse and to her passion, which is the tattoo world. I hope you like the vampire woman's story. Remember to subscribe to our channel and share the videos.